right, good evening and welcome to Miller City High School. The home of the Wildcats for tonight. 7-2 Miller City host 9-0 Pandora Gilboa. The Rockets coming in tonight to Miller City for a Putnam County League showdown on a Monday night in January. Hi everybody here at Main Street alongside Darn Evergall. I'm going to be bringing you this one here tonight, early January hoops, Dar. The temperature raises up even though it's going down outside <laughs> because the conference stakes begin to raise with every day that passes, and this could be a big one to decide the Putnam County League race as we go along. Oh, this is going to be a huge game tonight. Two very similar type teams, pretty good size on both sides of the ball. You know, Miller City's got some guys you know, coming in at 6'4 and that type of thing. Pandora Gilboa the same way. You know, good defenses, both sides as well. Pandora Gilboa only giving up like 33 points a game, roughly. You know, Miller City giving up only about 43 points a game. So, good to be a strong defensive battle, but there's some good shooters out there as well. So, you know, you can see some offense real quick, but I think it's going to come down to really defense in this game here. Who can play the best half-court defense particularly? And, you know, you look at these teams, you know, the two losses that you know, Miller City have. They lost their opening game to Crestview. They lost to Flea to Christian. But overall, they, they've really, you know, shut down teams. I've seen some scores that they've got where they've only given up in the 20s, you know. Uh, so I expect a really good, strong defensive game. Yeah, those two losses for Miller City, the only two by either of these teams. Crestview and Toledo Christian, no slouches there. No slouches at all. whatsoever. Let's meet the starters here as they tip things off. Nate Mag. And Jude Otto at center circle. It's controlled by Miller City, and we're underway. The Wildcats, led by head coach Ross Kaufman, will go with Silas Neese, a 6'5 senior. He's got the basketball right now. Jude Otto is a 6'4 junior. Will Otto, a 6'0 senior. Owen Toby wears number 23, is a 6'0 senior. And Aiden Rui, a 6'4 senior, got a turnover there. Starting out for Miller City. And Oregon Butler, led by head coach Mike Lee, Colin Harris, and Aiden Harris, a couple of seniors in the lineup. Aiden Morris, a six-foot senior. Dick Neuenschwander is a six-foot senior in the post. And Nate Mag, a six-foot senior down low as well for the Rockets in the gray. Uniforms on the, the road tonight. Open look, Colin Harris pulls trigger, hits the heel, and it's grabbed in the transition for Jude Otto. He's going to push the envelope there, nope. but he put the shoulder down, and that's an easy charge call for our officials, our first uh, whistle of the basketball game. Yeah, you just went in there full bore and good positioning there by the Pandora Gilboa Rocket defensive player to just take that charge. And, you know, you both these teams, you know, they can't shoot the threes, but, you know, you look at Pandora, the 124 attempts at three-point range, 36%. You know, but, you know, Miller City coming in, 102 attempts at only 26%. So their game is really on the inside for this Miller City team. Well, cut to the lane for Aiden Harris, and he's going to draw contact. Harris comes in tonight, leading all scores for Pandora Yoboa, well over 20 points a game at 21 and a half. He is six points shy of 1,000 tonight. So the 1,000 point sheets of paper spread all around that right side of the gymnasium from our vantage point. It'll be from the left side on your television screen as that's where the Pandora Gilboa faithful have settled in here at Miller City tonight. Harris 76% of the line this year and he splits the, the two to put the Rockets on the board first, one nothing a minute in. Yeah, they, like you said, a 76% free throw shooter, 29 for 38 coming in and just hit the second one of that one, which is, you know, he, he normally hits both of those shots in that type of situation. Little runner Ooh. inside for Will Otto, goes high off the glass and gets a deuce. And Miller City with a lead. We're gonna get a foul called late ball against the Wildcats. They're gonna put that on Jude Otto, that'll be his and let's see if they put it on the board yet. They did. That's his first team's first. Brandon Barlaghi will come in. Actually, that's going to be the second quickly against Jude Otto. Yeah, Jude Otto averaging seven points a game, the six foot five. You know, junior out there for Miller City, somebody that really can't afford to get in foul trouble because they need that height under the basket against this Pandora Gil Rock Gilboa Rocket team. It's a little early shift there. See if that causes anything, but. Brendan Barlaghi into the game 
for the Wildcats for the time being. He's scoring over 11 and a half off the bench, so he's got the scoring part of it. You know, that's one of those things, you see the sixth man coming in. I mean, a lot of times they will be one of the leading scorers. They come off the bench, they don't need to be a starter, they know what their role is. Nate Mag, not a whole lot of room to shoot, but he knocks one down with a defender in his face. And Argyloa back up by two. Will Otto will control the basketball up the floor for Miller City. Ball is poked away by the Rockets. Jump ball called. The arrow goes for Pandora Gilboa. Good defensive play and transition for the Rockets. That's three unofficial turnovers already for Miller City. Comes in averaging just under 12 turnovers a game. So like I said, defense is going to be a big thing yeah. in this game. Taking care of the basketball, it is that is a prime mode of operation if you're in the Putnam County League, which a lot of physical play historically. There are the Rockets able to get to the bucket and get a couple of quick ones. It's going to be Harris again. So he's up to three on the game. There's a move inside Owen Toby. Dishes off for Silas Nees. He fires a three. No, but offensive glass cleaned up by Andon Rui. His putback won't fall, but another offensive board for the Wildcats. Good possession for Miller City. A charge of the lane and for just Will can't put Otto. It down. Empty there up ahead for Neuenschwander. Misses in transition. Harris was fighting for the rebound and up ahead for Andon Rui, but he is blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Miller City. Wow. Well, talked about defense, but this game's getting hot and heavy as far as the action goes. And, you know, both teams really need to run with each other. And that's not quite what I expected to see when you look at teams that are, you know, giving up the two points as these guys are. Judato with two fouls. He pops off the bench to our left. They're about only a minute and a half on the bench. For Pandora Gilboa, Owen Huffman checks in. And here controlling the basketball, it's Colin Harris. He goes to Aiden on the left wing. Skip pass for Aiden Morris. He goes down the key. And oh, he throws right. one in the traffic. About two points a game for Morris, and the senior has his contributions. Looking for more, has the whole game to add to that. And I'll get my average right off the bat, and I'll go from there. It's kind of like the 300 hitter yeah, that, gets, right. that, that gets his hit in his first at bat, and you can kind of relax yeah. and settle in the rest of the way. Certainly is, and you know they're going to need those kind of role, you know, players out there. You look at them coming in there with, you know, you see a lot of guys in the Rockets team with average about two points, one point, that kind of thing. There's a triple try from the corner, and Will Otto's attempt is swatted away. Aiden Harris came flying in there and batted it off. 434 mark of the first. And the Rockets, aside from withstanding that one possession with about three or four offensive rebounds, standing tough here up by three possessions. Well, technically two, but three from inside. There's Will Otto, nowhere to go. Oh, Nate Mag stood tall. Runner off balance from Owen Toby gets his own miss, puts it up. And he's going to go to the free throw line, and we've got a physical game from the get-go to Dygar. This free throw line might end up getting a workout. I think so, and this is Putnam County League basketball. This is what it is. It's very physical. You know, both teams, you know, are hammering each other. You look at Harris, he's got long arms. He's, only, he's 6'4", but he's got long arms. You know, a lot of defense that way. You know, but this is the way they play, you know, and it, which is kind of interesting for the Rockets because they got to go from the Patton County League, it's a lot of physical play, to the Blanchard Valley League Conference, yep. which is more finesse. Second free throw for Toby drops. He is now 11 of 23 at the free throw line this season. Andon Rui checks back in for Miller City. 8 to 3 on that Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Well, that's one thing, Garrett. If this does come down to a free throw shooting contest, you know, Miller City hitting only just 57% from the foul line as a team as compared to 68% for the Rockets. Looking at those free throw percentages, I'm sure both head coaches would love to see higher marks there. And deflected basketball 
Off of Will Otto and out of bounds. Nearly had that one picked from Colin Harris. We hit the halfway mark of the opening period here. Last time out for Miller City. It was a trip up the defiance area. Took down Tenora at their place. Corner three on the way won't fall for Aiden Morris. For Pandora Gilboa, their last trip out was to against Van Buren. The three-pointer drops for the Rockets from Will Otto. A 21-point win for the Rockets last week over the Black Knights of Van Buren. So here's Harris, lost the ball. And we might have a tie up here. And indeed, Arrow is Miller City. Two-point ball game with the Wildcats getting the ball back and Ethan Barlaghi in for Miller City for the first time. Yeah, you can see what Miller City likes wants to do. They want to keep Pandora pushed out away from the middle of that basket and get them out of the paint as much as possible. Come out and meet them right about, you know, at the half-court mark and not let them do anything in the inside. Barlaghi to the wing for Andon Rui. To, to, to Otto, down inside for Brendan Barlaghi. He makes a nice move in the post. Can he get the finish? No, but an offensive rebound. Now Ethan with an open shot to shoot. Nope, and it is Harris to bring it down. He's averaging over six rebounds a game. Just went right up, snatched the miss. And Harris, three points shy of a 1,000 here. Here's a Nate Mag three from the top of the arc. And oh, he's the got shooter's the roll. roll. Five makes from downtown on the season through the first nine games of the campaign, and he has two in the first quarter tonight. Bouncing to the post for Andon Rui. He's in a muscle by Mag, hit the back of the rim, and Jude Otto couldn't time up the offensive board, but the Rockets throw it away in transition. Yeah, officially that's the second turnover for the Rockets. I think Nate Mag out there at the top of that key, popping up for the three-pointers is kind of a, you know, Miller City's not quite ready for that. You know, they, like I said, you only had five of them coming into this game. They'll figure it out, though. He That's won't right. stay out there for very long shooting yep. like that. Here's the look from the wing. Will Otto, and he drops it. Two threes for him on the early stages of the basketball game. Right now, I've got him for eight of the nine for Miller City. Oh, you have done? I've got him for, yeah, eight of the nine. There's a miss on the other end, and going to go off of Mag out of bounds. Rockets still hold a two-point lead. Former state qualifier in golf. As marker up on the, the wall here in the gymnasium from last fall. Look inside, and Jude Otto has his shot disrupted down below. Pushed up ahead for Nguyen Schwander. That was just great the defense. Quarter. And there's going to be a foul with Aiden Harris trying to put that basketball through the hoop. Harris. First team in the County League and BVC a year ago. He's a two-time first teamer in the Blanchard Valley Conference. And the second team, all PCL, is a sophomore. And the senior releases his first free throw, no good. So a couple of misses on his first three attempts. Changes in the lineup for both sides. Nate Walker checks in for the first time. For Pandora Gilboa. Also Tanner Rickley. And so Harris, a 76% free throw shooter, and that's getting starting a pattern here that I think he wants to break. He doesn't want to hit every other shot on the free throw yep. line. Now all he needs is his next field goal will make him a four-digit career scorer. There's a bounce for Giudano on the left wing. It's the free throw line. And a nice dish down inside for Brendan Barlaghi, and he scores it from the left block. Barlaghi 
Nice finish and a selfless play by Otto to find the open man. One point contest with a minute to go in the quarter. Harris to Harris. He drives the lane, puts it up, misses the runner. Tippin goes for Nate Walker. Wow, he nice tipped job. it back in. Only 5'10". He's able to get up over top of some of the taller players to knock that one back through. Nate's another one coming in averaging just over two points a game, and he's already got his two points, so everything from that point on is just luck free. Looks like the Wildcats with a play for the last shot of the quarter, down by three. Ethan Barlaghi over near half court, guarded heavily by Nate Walker. Loose ball for Giudato, but he circles it over to Ethan Barlaghi. We got a loose ball stolen by Colin Harris. Aiden Harris hits the deck in transition, and a three from Neuenschwander grabbed off the board by Brendan Barlaghi, and that takes us to the end of the first. It's a 14-11 score on the Springer Insurance School Board. In the first period of action at Miller City, you're watching high school basketball and Putnam County League action tonight on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor on WOSN is Springer Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Say go Rockets! And our quarter sponsor tonight, Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Give them a call, 419-384-3392. And again, that's Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Second quarter action about to get underway. Rockets with a 14-11 advantage over the Miller City Wildcats. Garrett Mansfield and Darn Evergall bringing to the action tonight. First quarter through, and it's been a Physical from the get-go, and it's been teams. a lot of action in yep. that first quarter. I'm surprised that you know you look at 14-11, but you know that's just the defensive effort on both ends of the court. You know, but a lot of banging around underneath here, like you, like we said, you know, and expect that throughout this game. You know, a lot of good fronting the guys and backing the guys. Here's Harris, mid-range jumper goes. There it and is. That is 1,000 points for Aiden Harris, so they'll take a. Stoppage of play here. And Aiden Harris, got to feel good. Ten games into your senior year. And the Pandora Gilboa community all traveled extremely well tonight as he gets congratulations all the way down the bench. And the MVP chance right on down for the student section. Got to feel good. You see it there on the Road State College instant replay. Spring 2024 registration now open at Road State College. And that's about as quick as a thousand player I'll mission I've what. ever seen. I'll tell you what. And it was just great to see the fans over there from, from Pandora Gaboa. Everybody with a thousand yep. card in their hand. That bucket for Harris gave the Rockets a five point lead. And you got to wonder, you know, there's probably times where. Every kid's wired different, but there are some that, you know, that's in the back of their head. No, okay, here I am. Yep. Let's just get this, get rid of this early. Get those jitters out and then go win a basketball game to make it even sweeter. But here on the other end, Miller City is not going to let it be easy as Brendan Barlaghi, another score from the post, and he got the harm in the, or in the uh, process. And he's a 72% free throw shooter, but I'll tell you what, They've been doing this all in the first quarter and now into the second one, just trying to get the ball inside to these guys underneath. And they are strong and physical underneath there. And you know, that one there, he just muscled right past everybody. And the junior, five hard-earned points already tonight, has the Wildcats within two. Harris pushes it up ahead for Aiden Morris, and there is a drive to the basket for Owen Huffman, swatted down by Miller City. Cats can take the lead or tie it up on this possession. Owen Toby to the top of the arc, but the pass goes down low for Brendan Barlaghi. And now here is Rui to the hole, and he draws a foul again. Now he'll have the free throw line. Miller City content to attack the rack, take the contact, and feel comfortable shooting from the free throw line to the clock stop. 
a 48% free throw shooter, but that's exactly what they want to do. They want to go there, you know, hard to the basket, you know, draw the foul if they have to, you know, but try to get Pandora into foul trouble. You know, they got to start hitting some of their free throws, but if they get Pandora into foul trouble, you know, when we get down to the fourth quarter and that kind of thing, you know, it'll play a big difference for them. Here's the next one up and good for Andon Rui. His first points. He averages about 10 and a half a night. Just below 50% shooting at the free throw line. And as Miller City to within one. The thing with the Wildcats, too, is they're not letting Pandora get second shots. You know, no offensive rebounds on that end of the court for uh, the Rockets. And there it is again. Wildcats trying to clear it out. And they do so unorthodoxly, but able to pick up a foul just beyond half court. That's a tough area to pick up the basketball. That's one of those areas on the basketball floor, Dar, that you draw those four corners. These are the four you don't ever want to pick it up in, but Pandora Gilboa able to bail out the Wildcats when doing just that. As Aiden Harris with his second foul, he'll head to the bench for the Rockets. Yeah, that's a player you don't want to lose for the Rockets. Barlaghi draws another foul. There was a couple of Pandora Gilboa players in the area. I think they're going to get Zach Neuenschwander, his first. That's already the team's fourth. And I tell you what, the Wildcats have been at the line shooting two this whole quarter, and that'll be the same if they get more free throw or more fouls going ahead. Judato enters for Andon Rui. Well, the Rockets' defense underneath the basket basically front somebody, you know, then the guy comes in from the back to try to block the shot. It hasn't worked the last three times for them, though, because they've sent the Miller City to the foul line. Kalagi hits both, and it's a six point night for him. And Miller City is now with. Well, on top of this one, 17-16 on that Springer Insurance scoreboard. There's the reversal. Into the hands of Aiden Morris, he'll penetrate. Kicks out. And Colin Harris with a triple try, off target. And when Schwander has the offensive rebound, he went to put it back up. And he'll head to the line after drawing another foul. And I think that's the first offensive rebound I've seen the Rockets get tonight. Miller City's crashed the boards well in this one. Lewin Schwander lets it fly and he hits, ties the game to 17. His first bucket of the evening, and he's 5 of 5 at the free throw line this season. He's got a nice little flip of the wrist towards the basket. It's up and good again. Stays perfect on the year, perfect on the night. And Pandora Gilboa up by one. Yeah, they've been able to maintain that that advantage, even though Miller City has really played some good ball underneath the basket on them. I said Miller City only shooting 26% from three, so they're not going to take a whole lot of shots from the outside. Barlog, he thought about dishing it off, but he takes the floater himself, gets the offensive rebound, gets rid of it to Silas Neeson. He Lands that one in. Now a long one up ahead for Neuenschwander, and he has that slapped out by Brendan Marlangi. Miller City and Pandora Gilboa with a block party tonight on both ends. And a foul called to Silas Neese. Bumped into Colin Harris. And he sold it really, really well. I think there was contact there. And but I don't know if it was as bad as it looked. No, it couldn't be flopping on you. Nope. <laughs> Second foul against Nice. Triple on the other end. Neuenschwander, and he hits. Neuenschwander, the number two three-point shooter on this Pandora Gilboa team behind Aiden Harris. Makes his ninth of the season. We got another loose ball near half court. If they're going to call another jump ball. It's going to stay with Miller City. They have the arrow. 
I'll tell you, Rockets are giving Miller City fits out there at that half-court defense. Well, Otto brings the ball up the floor. Hands off for Owen Toby. Toby with the left. Steps into a three. Silas Neese rattles its way home. He has the last five for Miller City. Bobcats by one. I've got Miller City on the three for five now from three-point range. Continue to spread out. Man-to-man -man on the half court. Ewan Schwander loses it, and it's stolen by Brendan Barlaghi. He catches it here. One dribble to the elbow. Goes to set a screen, opens up for Will Otto, and he bangs one in. It's third and three of the game. They're building confidence out there at that three-point line. And that forces Pandora Gilboa into a timeout. We'll take it to 3.47 to go before halftime. Wildcats by four on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Road State College Spring 2024. Registration is now open. And our sponsor of this second quarter is Northwest Ohio Recycling. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap colors. 419-384-3392. That's Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. 25-21. Quite a nice little burst for the Miller City Wildcats. About as much separation as we've seen in this basketball game. Pandora Gilboa got out to an 8-2 lead at one point. And the Wildcats have hung right there. They've hit some good outside shots. See what changes that brings for Pandora Gilboa defensively. But right now we're not seeing a whole lot change in the, in the, uh, the area of fouls being drawn and called. No, we're not. And Miller City really, you know, like I said, they were banging on the inside pretty hard and stuff. Now they're building some confidence on their three-point shooting from the outside. So Pondor is going to have to come out there and challenge them. Colin Harris open from the left wing, and he buries a triple to bring Pandora Gilboa within one. That's just Colin's fifth three-pointer of the game of the season. He's in 18% coming in. And a turnover forced by the Rockets. Well, Otto threw that ball away. Is it going to be Colin Harris again? He fakes, drives, and has it knocked out of the air, but he finds the ball again, and wow. Colin Harris gets the Rockets back on top. A little five-point run for Pandora Gilboa. Got a score and a stop and went down to get a second chance opportunity. Wow, how things change so quickly, huh, Garrett? Yeah, that is this game of basketball. The fluidity, the change. Got to be able to bounce back quickly. Owen Toby puts that previous possession in the rear view mirror. And an unforced error for Pandora Gilboa on their offensive side. A double trouble by the Rockets. Pandora Gilboa has won the last three meetings between these two teams. So the senior class for Miller City has never beaten the Rockets. They're going to change that tonight on their home floor. Pandora Gilboa team that's had some pretty nice runs the last couple of years. A turnover on Miller City. Unofficially eight turnovers now for the Wildcats. Now it's interesting, Garrett, when you look out there and you see Toby, who's a left-hander, he's standing over here on the right side mostly, you know, but when he goes up to the basket, he lays it up with that left hand, you know. It's kind of an interesting strategy when you got a guy like that. Open look for Harris, and he'll miss, but Aiden Harris brings down the offensive rebound, has to adjust at the block, and he's able to score it over top of Owen Toby. Rockets by one again. Final two minutes before half. Toby will catch, gets in the lane, dumps it off, and he threw it away, and Nate Mag in the... Toby get into it there. Jump ball goes to Pandora Gilboa. Now this isn't a physical game at all. <laughs> they say it's 
the old adage of not being a contact sport. Well, yeah. Not in these parts, it ain't. Not when these guys hook up with each other. There's a lot at stake here tonight for these two teams. You know, both of them undefeated in the PCL. Long pass ahead for Colin Harris, and he puts it away. Rackets by three. That's seven points now for Colin Harris here in this first half. I believe all seven have been in the second quarter as well. Three-point lead for Pandora Gilboa, and a lost ball by Andon Rui, picked up by Aiden Harris. They'll go down the middle of the floor, step back three, off front iron. Long rebound at two Wildcats there for the basketball, but they do collect it. Will Otto comes to get the ball. Pass up things up for the Wildcats, defended by Owen Huffman. Oh, nice move in the basket. He was able to sneak by, offensive rebound for Barlaghi. We got a foul on the Rockets coming up, they're fifth. And again, another offensive rebound for Miller City to get a second opportunity at the basket. They've definitely dominated on the offensive boards, that's for sure. Barlaghi can cut it to one, but he misses the front end. Ethan Barlangi will check in for Silas Nice. And the junior for Miller City, Benson Sense. In and out. Another offensive rebound. Nope. Couldn't be secured by Rui. The Rockets take over. Final minute of the half. Nate Walker on the right side. They'll pull it back out for Colin Harris. The Rockets go for that last shot. If they can run the offense for 45 seconds, or find a good one. Might be one of those where you can pull the trigger, but it better be perfect. Working it around the arc. Aiden Harris comes to catch with 30 to go. Harris, bounce pass, almost deflected away. Colin Harris regroups. An open lane to get to the basket, and Colin Harris wants a drive. Might have got away with a walk. And a long rebound will go off of Pandora Gilboa out of bounds. Now Miller City has some time to do something with the basketball. 13 seconds, that's plenty of time, Dar. Oh, yes, absolutely is. And I think they pulled the trigger a little bit quickly on that one there for Pandora. You know, they, they had a nice little going around out there. You know, they almost lost it. So I think that's why they thought, you know, we got to do something with it really quickly here because we can't take a chance of a turnover. Turns out they missed the shot anyhow. Scoring in this quarter so far, 16 to 16. Silas Nice and jump ball. It's Miller City ball with four and a half to go. The arrow has been turned about a half a dozen times already in this contest. Miller City wants two more offensive players in there, Ethan Barlaghi and Jude Otto. Otto playing the two fouls here early. He picked him up within the first couple of minutes of the game. So he's been checking in and out most of this half. So he's done a nice job to avoid that third foul. So important. Ethan Barlaghi looking for space, went to get rid of it, lost the ball. Walt Morris picks it up, fires it from three-quarter court, falls short. We had a halftime. Vanua Gilboa with a three-point game on the Springer Insurance School Board. It reads, Vanua Gilboa 30, Miller City 27. Your high school basketball here on WOSN. Second half of action here at Miller City. Third quarter is brought to you by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Paying top talent for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Give them a call at 419-384-3392. Garrett Mansfield and Darn never go with you tonight. Basketball contest between the Wildcats and Rockets. Putnam County League action here tonight. Darn, you look at the scoreboard. It's a three-point contest. With Pandora Gilboa on top, the Rockets and Wildcats have both made four three-pointers apiece. Where has been that separation that you find on your stat sheet? Well, really, when you look at it, they're both shooting, you know, 39% from the floor for Pandora Gilboa, 42% from the floor for Miller City, so there's really not a whole lot there. You know, rebounding really has been Miller City's strong point so far tonight, and second opportunities. They've gotten a lot of offensive rebounds 
compared to the Pandora Gabo. They had 14 rebounds unofficially in that first half and nine turnovers, though, that mm -hmm. hurt them on that side of it. You know, Rockets on the other flip side, nine rebounds, but only four turnovers. So that's a big thing. Outside of that, it's been pretty evenly matched across the board. Pandora's going to have to make some adjustments underneath there, though, to keep these guys from getting second shots. And so far, they haven't done yeah. it. So there's another one. Did that three-point cushion, though. Turn around for Jude Otto. That won't fall. And another block inside, Aiden Harris. Several blocks by both sides. And he got an offensive foul going against Owen Toby. He got the shoulder down. Dora Gilboa is able to draw the foul. That's the first on Toby. I so. think it's about the third offensive foul we've seen. Yep. You know, these guys, you know, they have it in their mind. We're going to drive to the basket, and nobody's going to get in our way. Well, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Neither team giving much of an inch down below. Cade Morris, high post to Nate Mag. Now Kyle and Harris inside to Aiden Harris. He can't finish. Will Otto got there late to defend the shot inside. They're going to Wildcats to their end. Pull up for Silas Neese off target. Both teams trying to just get the right combination on their new basket after switching sides after halftime. Almost a minute and a half has gone by. Nate Mag gets the kick out. An offensive rebound and an open slip for Aiden Morris. He can't finish. That's one of the few offensive rebounds he's been able to get tonight. And oh. Dump off for Andy Rui. Owen Toby opens it up. First basket of the second half so far. Andrew Rui kind of surprised him on that one there. I don't think he was expecting that at all. You know, the way the way that Toby got down the lane, Lily, like it was all him. He was there to, to finish it. His defender fell down in the process. Mag with a reversal for Aiden Harris. He's out lane to the basket, and he gets there, and they're going to count oh. the basket. They're going to call that a continuation. And he'll head to the line for one. His first back basket of the second half, his 10th point on the night. Owen Huffman checks in for the Rockets. So Harris. In a double figures. Joining Will Otto of Miller City for the game. Only double figure scores so far. And Harris hits. Give him 11. Silas Neese will walk it up the floor for Miller City. There goes Neese to Toby. Back to Neese. He thought about lifting there, but he loses the basketball. Kylan Harris with the steal, and Neese gets way up there to try to knock it away, and those two get tangled up. Harris gets credit with the basket. He wanted some more. And now Neese. Loses it again, and those two are got quite the back and forth going here. They're gonna call a tie up. Yet to boo, we had a pretty good look at that, Dar. Yeah, that's, see what I what. saw? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, boy, this is really getting to be physical. You know, you you think these guys know each other or something out there? Yep. <laughs> Every loose ball is now becoming a, a World War Three. I think. Yep. Wrestling mats down there. And you might want to roll those mats out pretty soon. <laughs> Five minute mark of the third quarter and a six point lead for Pandora and Gilboa, about as big of a lead as they have had since early in the game. Loose ball inside. Miller City wanted Brennan Barlaghi. These are like football referees trying to figure out who got the fumble. Yep. And it called a pretty tight game. There's been a lot of, the kids just haven't taken the hit yet. Yep, you know, absolutely. The, the whistle's been blowing and 
And you've got to in a, you know, in a game as physical as these guys are, you know, you got to keep it that way. It's a good timeout taken here by Coach Kaufman. We'll take it with him. Four third, or four fifty-three to go in the third. Six-point lead for Miller or for Pedro Gilboa over Miller City. WOS. minutes plus have gone by in the third quarter. And Ora Gilboa has opened up what was a three-point lead at halftime to six. Aiden Harris is just enough space to shoot on that left wing, fires a long three, and it goes off of a white shirt out of bounds. It'll stay with the Rockets. And Harris had an opportunity there, because at first he didn't have that shot open for him. You know, the guy was able to screen off for him and allow him to get that second opportunity to shoot it. It was way into the backcourt for Colin Harris. And he loses the basketball and goes over and back. A couple of unforced turnovers. But as of right now, Pandora go bold with a little bit of breathing room, some padding to it to survive that. Nate Walker checks in. You're seeing a couple Morris middle match. middle you know, mental errors out there on, on bringing the ball down, so. Almost another one for Miller City. But Owen Tilby finds Will Otto atop the arc. Honkett's trying to direct traffic. Pandora Gilboa coming after the basketball. Man-to-man -man on both ends defensively as of right now, and a ball got kicked. And Brandon Barlaghi Nearly had it lost, but Kylan Harris got a toe on it. Halfway through the third quarter. Well, that's the one thing, Garrett. You cannot be lackadaisical with the basketball out there because these guys are coming after you with one, two guys at a time. You take your eye off that basketball for a second, you've lost it. Not a whole lot of space to operate right now. And Rui gets to the hole and almost had the finish, but he'll go to the free throw line. I'm gonna mark that one on Nate Mag. That'll be his second. That is Pandora Gilboa's first foul of the half. Or make that the quarter. It's January, but still gonna remind myself of the yeah. of the rule. New rule changes, of course, with changing the one and one. Well, watching enough college basketball myself, I have to shift no, constantly I know. That's from tough, quarter. The, the women play with the quarter. The men still play play halves. Next free throw goes up and good. That's the third point for Rui. Harris draws contact up the floor against Jude Otto. Now, Jude had been playing with his nose clean for most of the first half and the second. He had two fouls right away when the game started, within like the first minute and a half or so. And there he just picked up the well, scoreboard showing number two, but I believe that is number three for him. There's an open look for Aiden Harris. He'll miss. Pulled down by Aiden Rui. Here's Will Otto. Dump down for Rui. Post move, but hands defensively quickly just clamped down on the basketball. And that's one of those one of those lessons there, Dark, for the post players. Just keep that basketball high, mm -hmm. and that does not happen. And very rarely, you know, the game has changed so much. That seemed to be such a, an easy rule to keep, or an, I should say an easy, uh, not really a rule, but just kind of a. Right, just a basically. A, a fundamental. A, a right? fundamental that you want to keep that way. Yep. Redoing it. <laughs> nice job, the foul line. Only coming in at 48%. And so far, he's yep. put in, you know, his last five free throws. He's knocking him down. I think sometimes the way the game changes is you see 
some players just so quick with the basketball that they're, they are able to put the ball on the floor in the post. And it's just not something that can be applied across the board. And seen a lot of post moves here early in this third quarter. Give well, Pandora Gilboa for getting in there and just being aggressive going after the basketball. They oh. see it come down and go after it. Yeah, they bring two guys all the time. If you're the ball handler, like I said, you can't, you know, take your eye off of it for a second. But Miller City, surprising on two fronts tonight. One, they're shooting well at the free throw line, and they're shooting well at the three-point line. Two things that they were really low on coming into this game. Otto drives, has the shot blocked by Aiden Harris and loses it out of bounds. Here we have the offensive rebound. And we're gonna get a new win. Swanger and Morris return to the basketball game for Pandora Gilboa. Huffman and Harris to the bench. And Silas Neese wants to return to the floor for Miller City. 2.15 remaining in this third quarter. Two-point game on the Springer Insurance scoreboard. I'll give credit to the Rocket defense because unfortunately I've got Miller C with 15 turnovers. And really it's just been the tenacity of the Rockets defense. Here's a look inside for Rui. Hard angle against the glass. He has the miss, but he gets it back and he'll go to the line with a chance to tie the game. Gonna put that foul on Nate Walker, his second. Maria, 6'4 senior, and he's really working hard here in this third quarter. And it's in and out. After all the praise there, Dar. Yep, I guess I did. The, well, the well right. must have dried up. It was, it was down as far as you can get it down before it came <laughs> back out again. See if Rui can start a new streak. And in and out, and the rebound grabbed by Nate Mack. So the Rockets preserve a two-point lead. And Miller says he's done a nice job on Nate Mag underneath the boards. He really hasn't had any opportunities in there to, to score. His six points have come from three-point range. Almost had the ball tipped away. Ease pops out, shows his hand defensively, and then returns to the post. And we got a illegal screen. Nate Walker came out there and clipped Will Otto on his way down to the baseline. He'll turn it over against the Rockets. Yeah, unofficially seven turnovers now for Pandora. That'll be the third on Walker, so he'll head out along with Colin Harris, Owen Huffman, and Aiden Harris return. Two-point game at Miller City. This has been a really consistent back-and-forth game all night. And a look at that dump down by Barlogi. He gets the score. Great find by Owen Toby. And he'll get the hoop and the harm. Eight-point game for Brendan Barlogi. Foul's going to go. Put that down on. Put on the scoreboard against 32, but there is none on the floor. They're gonna straighten that out. And 23. That is one of those talking about changes recently, you know, the singling fouls with two hands as opposed to one way it used mm -hmm. to be. Would be the one that puts him up there the way. Oh, it looks right to right. me, but it's not right. right to the table. And Barlagi hits the free throw to put Miller City on top by one. He's now in double digits for 10 points. Yep, that gets him right at that mark. Final minute of quarter number three. Aiden Morris to Aiden Harris. Harris trying to shake his defender, gets by Toby, and it's knocked away by Jude Otto, but the Rockets hold on to the basketball. 
And a loose ball on the floor. And the whistle is called as a jump ball. It's Miller City ball with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. You got to give both these coaches a lot of credit because these guys are disciplined, they're fundamental. Every loose ball that's laying on that court, you see three, two or three guys diving for it at the same time. They understand that, you know, loose balls and, and, and you know, getting the arrow going back and forth is something that you really want in a game like this. Miller City 7-2 playing here at home. Pandora Gilboa 9-0 on the season. Barlaghi to Jude Otto. And Otto scores for the first time of the game, giving Miller City a three-point lead. Final 10 of the third, and Harris is blocked. Miller City back to their end, and a clean block, but out of bounds off of Pandora Gilboa. There have been a lot of contested shots in this game. Oh, a lot of them. Got to be four or five to each end. And we got a foul against Aiden Harris. He and Jude Otto got tied up near the free throw line. That'll be the third against Harris. You know, we had quite a, a chippy JV game that went back and forth that went right to the tail end. It took a technical foul and a free throw made by Pandora Gilboa to win by one of the JV contests. We, we might be tipping in that direction. I think we are. Before we head to the fourth, final second of the third quarter. And Otto misses his first. The thing is, we got some players that are getting close in foul trouble here. If we get into, you know, the fourth quarter like this, or you know, later in the Latin fourth quarter or into overtime, it's going to play a big role. And Otto misses, and Barlaghi nearly had the offensive rebound, but with one second, not a whole lot of time to really do anything with. And Miller City breaks out with a 38-35 lead after that quarter. They outscore the Rockets 11-5 in the third period. We'll take a timeout, return to Miller City. High School Basketball at WOSN. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Springer Insurance, with locations in Pandora and Bluffton, saying, Go Rockets! Inbound pass for Aiden Harris, and he nearly slams him home. But Pandora Gilboa with a, they were, they were basket needy entering the fourth quarter. They dog, certainly were. And they got one right there. And even on that one, it was contested by Harris, too. You know, somebody trailing him from the Miller City side. Rockets start out in a 2 3 zone. To begin this fourth quarter, Ethan Barlaghi back and forth with Silas Neese. Now Jude Otto. And the Rockets want to try to force the Pandora. If you're going to shoot, shoot it from the outside. We're not going to give you that middle anymore. Jude Otto, Lynn side out. Silas Neese steps into a three pointer. And Colin Harris will pull down the miss. Up ahead for Aiden Harris. Harris trying to shake a defender, gets inside. He got a shoulder in there, but Andrew Rui had delivered more of the, the punch. That'll be his, that was his first of the contest. You look at Aiden Harris, a six foot four, but he's a wiry kid. I mean, he, you know, he's long armed, not afraid to go to the middle, not afraid to get banged around a little bit in there. And, He's done that his whole career. Colin Harris gets inside. That's the center floater. That rims off. Miller City will push it ahead. Silas Neese finds Brendan Barlaghi. Pump fake, adjusts, and scores. Good job by that young man to get open. He leads Miller City now with 12. And the Wildcats have a three-point lead, six and a half to play, trying to hand Pandora Gilboa their first defeat of the season. Both teams unbeaten in Putnam County League action. 
Alan Harris misses a long three from the wing. Offensive rebound collected by Owen Huffman. There's a triple on the way for Aiden Morris, and he hits and ties the game. Morris gets his second three-point make of the season. Evens us up at 40 all with six to play. It couldn't come at a more opportune time for the Rockets, too. Aiden Morris doing you know, two for six now from three-point range this season. And we got a foul at the free throw line. Looking down the conference list right now, Pandora Gilboa wins over Kaleida and Lipsick. And their first two PCL matchups of the year. You got BVC wins over Van Buren and a couple others. They are 3 0 in the BVC. The inbound pass for Miller City. The Wildcats, Lipsick is their loan, a conference win. Only one of the years so far. They have Continental up ahead on the schedule on Friday night before going to Lincoln View or hosting Lincoln View later on Saturday. Then they'll see Ottoville and Wayne Trace over the next couple of weeks, couple of winning programs. Three losses combined between those two teams at this point of the year. We have a 10 out of the four taken by Miller City. Five and a half to play. We'll be back in 30. WOS in. Welcome back to Miller City. Where the Wildcats have a 40 40 tie with Ken Orgo Villa. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. I'll tell you, Garrett, you've seen Miller City. They're kind of slowing it down the pace a little bit. They're not slowing down going to the basket and getting it back into Rui underneath the basket, but they've kind of slowed it down a little bit, eating up a little bit of that clock. Back to man-to-man -man defense for the Rockets, and loose ball. Everybody on the floor still loose. It's going to end up in a tie-up, but the Rockets and Wildcats continue to get ruckus. No, well, nobody got pinned on that one. I can tell that right now. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to score in the first <laughs> I place. I don't either. Have a good job by the referees just to sort that one out and find out who had the ball. It'll stay with Miller City. 40-40. Miller City used an 11-5 third quarter. That's was the scoring differential at a halftime. Will Otto, loose ball at the baseline, and he's trying to still get it. We have bodies on the floor again. This one's going to go to the Rockets this yep, time. Yep, another jump wall. Like I said, you take your eyes off the ball for a second. And these guys from both sides of the ball, not just Pandora Gilbo, but the defense from Miller City as well, have got hands all over the place. They're not going to allow you just to, you know, put the ball, to, you know, even dribbling it one time is, it, is, you know, you're risking losing it. Here's Callum Harris. Aiden Harris in a high dribble, lost it, but Nate Mann grabs oh. it back and finishes. He had Pandora Gilboa's first make of the game, and he has their next, and an interception by Aiden Harris. He's fouled going down the, down the floor. And this could turn into a nice swing for Pandora Gilboa. Yeah, that's Nate Meggs, first basket of the second half. Eight points on the night. And really in the right place at the right time for that one there. Here's the inbound for Colin Harris. All fired. Pushed up by the Wildcats. And Silas Matt would make that Silas Neese has it bumped away. 
Well, the referees are letting them play. There's no doubt about yep. that. They're keeping it under control, but they're letting them play. Because if you look at the game and stuff, you can see you'd be calling fouls all night long. Hey, here in the start of the fourth quarter. And we got a charge. We get to Andy Rui. Lowered that shoulder down, came back up. And this fourth quarter continues to be a drowning pool music video. The body's <laughs> hitting the floor, man. I'll tell you what. Two-point lead for Pandora Gilboa. And the Rockets need to get a basket coming down on this possession here, just to put a little space between them and Miller City and kind of build a little momentum that neither team's really been able to hang on to. Aiden Harris, baseline oh, pull-up jumper, so smooth. When you have a pull-up like that, it is hard to defend. Yeah, such great elevation on that shot. And when push comes to shove, there's your clutch guy right there. And a short attempt for Owen Toby. They're going to call that another jump ball. At this point, it's kind of just a cop out. I, that, looked more okay, of a, yeah. that looked more of a rebound and a foul, but. Of course, it looks a lot easier when we're up here. Yeah. Well. You know, anybody, many guys are hitting the floor. They really don't know what they're going to do. Silas oh, needs his lot. shot deflected by Colin Harris. Here come the Rockets, and we got a, okay. Oh, Harris my. stepped out of bounds. It looked like Nice had him bodied up, but I don't think he made contact with him at all. Harris just navigated that way and stepped out. We're going to get a timeout. Pandora Gilboa. We'll take one also. 3.23 to go, fourth quarter. Four-point basketball game at Miller City, WOSN. Forty-four, forty, three twenty-three to go, Miller City with basketball. They'll lay down from in front of their own bench. A missed shot, a turnover. By Pandora Gilboa. Stays Miller City ball. Neither team has really been able to take control of this game. We've seen a lot of runs back and forth. Saw a strong third quarter by Miller City, but really, neither team has really put their stamp on this game. And Silas Nice pops it up. Colin Harris there to take advantage. So Aiden Morris will guide it up the floor the rest of the way. That's unofficially 19 turnovers for Miller City. There is a foul. Nice and Harris continue to go back and forth. Third on Nice. That's been brewing a lot, pretty much all night. Yeah, there's been there's been some individual battles down there. There's no doubt about it. Nate Mag, you know, with number 32, Toby down there most of the time all night long going at it. Aiden Harris going at it with everybody. <laughs> Mag hands it right back to Morris after getting the inbound. Rockets will move it right side. 240. Big offensive possession for Pandora Gilboa. And down the oh lane, my. Aiden Morris finishes high off the window to make it a six point game with two and a half left. That was one tough shot right there. Rui catches at the elbow and a timeout taken. He got swarmed by three Rockets before the timeout was taken. This is going to be a full timeout taken for Miller City, so we will step aside. 2.21 left on the Springer Insurance scoreboard here on WOSN. Some change to go in this contest, Putnam County League basketball. As Miller City hosting of Pandora Gilboa tonight. 30 to 27 was the Pandora Gilboa lead at halftime. Miller City had a strong third quarter to take a lead into the fourth. But the Rockets have outscored Miller City 11 to 2 so far in quarter four. 
Yeah, Miller City desperate need a basket of any kind right now. Barlaghi thought about the three, but reverses. Now an open look for Will Otto. Ball tip stays alive, and Jude Otto tried to keep it in bounds. Didn't get a clean handle on the ball, and it trickled it into his bench. And Oregon will a ball with two to play. Rockets are smelling victory right now, but they really got to claim and get a basket again to expand this lead out even more. Tenacious Miller City team, you cannot let them off the hook. And a long pass, Aiden Harris nearly lost it out of bounds, and the Rockets trying to get away from some contact. Cotton Harris draws down. That'll be the fifth foul on Miller City, putting the Rockets at the line for two the rest of the way. That's the second against Brendan Barlaghi. Colin Harris, a 61% free throw shooter in his first trip to the foul line tonight. He's got nine in the game. He'll stay that way. Big free throws, too. He's Miller City, two three-pointers down. It's still two possessions, but this will regardless make it a three-possession game. That's exactly what Colin Harris does on the second free throw attempt. And Will Otto guides the ball up the floor with Miller City down seven. Loose ball, and Aiden Morris knocks it loose. And the Rockets and Wildcats into another time. Should be keeping track of these on that. I, I know. I'm going to have to add that category if I'm going to do any more Putnam County League game, games, I guess. Now that free throw by Colin Harris puts him in double figures as well with 10 points. Yep. Minute 24 left. Miller City has Andrew Wise into the game. Some foul trouble to other players. We're signing up off the bench, and there goes Harris oh, to the rack. Scores it in, gets the foul, and it's a wall, but put it away for the Rockets. Nine-point lead, their biggest of the game. I'll tell you what, Gary, when he gets that first step around the defender, you know you're in trouble. Benoit Gilboa has won the last three meetings between these teams. We're going to make it four in a row. Harris going for his 18th point of the night right now. And he does just that. 18 point performance on the ninth, and Harris scored his 1,000th in his high school basketball career. There's the short corner for Judado. And the Wildcats just looking for some space, but not a whole lot of room. And Miller City forces them into or forced into another turnover. Owen Huffman had that poke away. And a basketball game that was nip and tuck for three and a half quarters. The Pandora Gilboa Rockets have opened up in the last two minutes. And Owen Huffman rewarded for his defensive effort tonight with a late basket for the Rockets. And his first basket of the night. Andrew Wise for three, a little too strong. And the Rockets got the rebound and can all but dribble it out. They just have to get beyond the timeline. And Aiden Morris will wind it down. So the Pandora Gilboa Rockets will improve to 10-0 with a 52-40 win. And what was a hard-fought battle against Miller City. Dar, you needed your armor for this one. You certainly did. And Pandora Gilboa outlasts Miller City. They go with 3-0 in the Putnam County League, 10-0 overall. Miller City, though, can't adjust their third loss of the season. And that's going to be a team not a lot of teams are going to want to mess with down the stretch. No, I wouldn't want to mess with Miller City at all, that's for sure. And you know, really, you look at it, and I had them on the face play for 20 turnovers for Miller City. And if you can you give up 20 turnovers and still be in the ball game the way the, you know, the Wildcats were, that's a, that's a huge thing for this program. You know, a tough loss tonight, but you got a long ways to go yet for the rest of the season. And they played really well underneath the boards. I mean, they got a lot of offensive rebounds. You know, they out-rebounded Pandora Gilboa. Uh, you know, Aiden Harris is just one of those players that 
when he starts feeling it and he gets in that groove, you know, he's hard to stop. And he's hard to stop when he drives to the basket, no doubt about it. And, you know, that's what happened here in this fourth quarter. You know, your, your good players, the guys that you depend on, the you know, Aiden Harris, Colin Harris, those guys like that, take over a game. And, and really, it's the defense. This Rocket defense is just unbelievable. Played very, very well tonight, forced tons of turnovers, and are able to pull away late for this one. 52-40 again, your final score on the Springer Insurance Scoreboard. Also like to thank the rest of our partners for tonight, Rhodes State College with our instant replay and our quarter sponsor tonight, Northwest Ohio Recycling. Four exciting quarters over here at Miller City. We'd like to thank Miller City Athletic Director Kevin Dietering, our crew tonight, Jacob O'Neill on the cameras and back in the studio. He's Don Evergall. I'm Derek Mansfield saying good night from Miller City and thank you for watching High School Basketball on WOSN.